Good afternoon, my friends. Today I would like to discuss with all of you about animal that always fascinate me. Even I never saw one. It's incredible, it's the gorilla. Why the gorilla? I've been to several zoos, even abroad as well, and I never been lucky to see one. Even I've been to the London Zoo as well, and because it was almost winter, the animal was inside, I couldn't see the gorilla, so I never seen how big they are and how strong they are. But they always been fascinated to me. I always found them absolutely incredible. They are in danger of disappearing because humans, they do kill them. Nevertheless, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and Mr. Wig will be very grateful. Let's go. First of all, gorillas, they are herbivorous. They do live just on the ground. Very rare, they go up the trees. You will find them in the equatorial forests in Africa. The genus a gorilla is divided in two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, and either four or five subspecies. The DNA of gorillas is highly similar to the humans, between 95 and 99%. Isn't that incredible? And they are the next closest living relatives to humans after chimpanzees. Gorillas are the largest living primates reaching heights between 125 and 1.8 meters. They can weigh between 100 kilos and 170 kilos. With their arms open, they can reach 2.6 meters and that depending on species and sex. They tend to live in troops with the leader called a silverback. The eastern uh, gorilla is distinguished by the western by the dark fur color and some other minor morphological uh, differences. Gorillas, they can eat all day long. Mountain gorillas, for example, spend about a quarter of their day eating mainly plants. Around 85% of their diet is made up of leaves, shoots, and stems, but gorillas also can eat larvae, snails, ants, and even roots, barks, and rooting wood. Gorillas stick to a mainly vegetarian diet, feeding on stems, bamboo shoots, and fruits. Western lowland gorillas, however, also have an appetite for termites and ants, and break open termite nests to eat the larvae. Gorillas' natural habitats cover tropical or subtropical forest in sub-Saharan Africa, although their range covers a small percentage of sub-Saharan Africa, gorillas cover a wide range of elevations. The mountain gorilla inhabits the Albertine Rift Mountain cloud forests of the Virunga volcanoes, ranging in altitude from 2200 to 4300 meters. Lowland gorillas live in the dense forests and lowland swamps and marshes as low as sea level, with western lowland gorillas living in central West Africa countries and eastern lowland gorillas living in the Demographic Republic of the Congo near its border with Rwanda. They are thought to be around 316,000 western gorillas in the wild and 5,000 eastern gorillas. Both species are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. All subspecies are classified as critically endangered with exception of the mountain gorilla. There are many threats to their survival, such as poaching, habitat destruction, and disease, which threaten the survival of the species. However, conservation efforts have been successful in some areas where they live. The closest relatives of gorillas are the other two, Omininae genera, 
chimpanzees and humans, all of them having diverged from a common ancestor about 7 million years ago. Human gene sequences differ only 1.6% on average from the uh, sequences of corresponding gorilla genes. But there is further difference in how many copies each gene has. Until recently, gorillas were considered to be a single species with three subspecies, the western lowland gorilla, the eastern lowland gorilla and the mountain gorilla. There is now agreement that there are two species, each with two subspecies. More recently, a third subspecies has been claimed to exist in one of the species. The separate species and subspecies developed from a single type of gorilla during the Ice Age, when their forest habitats shrunk and became isolated from each other. Primatologists continue to explore the relationships between various gorillas populations. The species and subspecies listed here are the ones upon which most scientists agree. Some variations that distinguish the classifications of gorilla include varying density, size, hair color, length culture and facial width. Population Genetics of the lowland gorillas suggest that the western and eastern lowland populations diverge around 261,000 years ago. Wild male gorillas weight 136 to 227 kilos, while adult females weight between 68 and 113 kilos. Adult males are 1.4 to 1.point meters in size with an arm span that stretches from 2.3 to 2.6 meters. Female gorillas are shorter 1.25 meters to 1.5 meters, with smaller arm spans. Calculated the average weight of 42 wild adult males gorillas at 144 kilos, while Smith and the average of a male gorilla is between 150 to 169 kilos. Adult male gorillas are now a silver backs due to the characteristic silver hair on their backs reaching to the hips. The tallest gorilla recording was a 1.95 meters. Silver back with a, an arm span of 2.7 meters, a chest of 1.98 meters and a weight of 219 kilos shot in Ali Bongo, northern Kivu in May 1938. The heaviest gorilla recorder was a 1.83 meters silverback shot in Abam, Cameroon, which weighed 267 kilos. Males in captivity can be overweight and reach weights up to 210 kilos. The eastern gorilla is more darkly colored than the western gorilla. With the mountain gorilla being the darkest of all, the mountain gorilla also has the thickest hair. The western lowland gorilla can it be grow or grayish with a reddish forehead. In addition, gorillas that live in the lowland forest are more slender and agile than the more bulky mountain gorillas. The eastern gorilla also has a longer face and broader chest than the western gorilla. Like humans, gorillas have individual fingerprints. Their eye color is dark brown, framed by a black ring around the iris. Wasn't very easy to eat uh, raw vegetables. Why these uh, wild animals, they do like raw vegetables or they eat plants, roots, etc. That for me was hard. Now, humans' teeth and body, they are not the same. Even their stomach is completely different. Actually, the gorilla uh, stomach ferments, actually, the food, and the human's stomach is completely different. It doesn't have the capacity to do the same. We do it just rubbish. We have more choices rather than the gorillas. But it always fascinates me the way they eat, especially the gorillas they are in captivation or in a zoo. And I do like to watch uh, uh, so many times, so many videos eating 
all sorts of raw vegetables, cucumber, uh, broccoli, uh, you just saw. Even the way they eat the banana, they don't peel it like I did. They actually, they open in the middle with their teeth and they eat the banana in one go and after that they eat all the skin. The skin must be for you, I did try, but it didn't taste nice. This after I eat the banana. Now gorillas, they are very strong animals. Some they say they have the strength of 20 men. Imagine 20 adults in a room with a gorilla. I still have to say, I can't see humans beat a gorilla. If a gorilla was inside a room, for sure, he will hurt all the 20 men. They wouldn't stand a chance because he's so strong. He could break your arm and body in, in one go. And so he could kill you. Nevertheless, what a fascinating animal, eh? And I would love to see one. Perhaps you have seen one. I never saw, anyway. I just eat all those raw vegetables so I could have the same feeling or what, how they, how difficult or how easy they are to eat. Actually, I did like the, the, the pepper, the carrots, not too bad, but the broccoli, that was hard and it didn't taste nothing, but it's good for you, right? I do like vegetables. So I had to try. What did you think of the mask? There was another gorilla here. No way. I would call the police, sir. Actually, there's some people around the world, they have uh, gorillas as a pet or they live with them. There's no way that with Mr. Wig that happened, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you are fascinated about gorillas like I am because I am. And I love this type uh, of animals. Would I have one even if he was a baby gorilla? No, I could pick if he was a baby gorilla, but at a certain age, it's better you live in a zoo or even in a wild because they can become very dangerous. I'm always amazed by their size and their strength and uh, especially the silverback is the leader of, the, of that troop and the way he controls us is absolutely incredible and so many times they, they do fight with other male gorillas because they want to take his place of the silverback. And there you go guys, another different video guys. Hope you are all okay. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next one.